Steve LePage, Justin Tyler, and Alex Dalvin. <laughs> Justin. And I am Pete. And that's our man of the booth, booth man. Oh, yeah. And we are very excited because yeah. the Comic Con this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Tax day was today. Yeah. Tax day was today. Right. Was today. Very exciting. <laughs> Tax day was today. Oh! What? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we, we talked about when we worked out big. Oh, man. I thought big. Yeah. We were going to be excited about Tax Day. We even talked about it. Yeah, that big weeks. government joke, Tax Day. Um, I just did mine in the lobby, that's a true story. <laughs> did you write off your comic books? No, I didn't. I didn't want to, it's too late. You write off your comic books. Yeah. yeah. Right. Research, research. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about. Materials. Marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Materials. Marketing. Nice. Uh, but seriously, it is New York Comic Con this weekend, and we're very excited about it. We are going to be awesome. all You all going to be, gonna be there? Yeah. 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 yeah! Jenna, that's who you're going to be there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that really broke your heart. Yeah. <laughs> she is, uh, yeah. She's a oh, comic book writer now. I'm a little so, bitter. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you hear what she has to say. <laughs> should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, yes, we are talking to Jenna Jameson this weekend, so that'd be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> talking. Talking. Thursday just night. talking. Uh, Thursday night. <laughs> what? Oh, that's just me. You guys are talking. Oh, man. All right. Oh! Bob Hope style. You guys, we are knocking this out of the way. Yeah. Uh, so let's get to the show. I'm very excited. Should we, should we get to the show? I'm very excited because we have three amazing guests yeah, we tonight. Uh, I'm very proud to introduce them, ladies and gentlemen. Christos Gage, Ronnie Rodriguez, and Tony Lee. so much for coming on the show. We're very excited to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and you are all in town. Well, you live in town. Yes? Me? Yeah, you? No. I'm no. Oh, you're all in town for New York Comic Con. That's right. Wow. Well, welcome. Wow. Are you all in our show? In our show. Oh, right. <laughs> it's convenient for you to go. Mainly for your show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this There's something Actually, going on this weekend. Yeah, we'll see if you can get you guys tickets. We all work on that. We all work on that. Sweet. We all came for the sofa, though. The sofa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They chopped up our sofa. Yeah. Very disappointing. Uh, and that's our show! Yeah. Seriously, um, let's kind of start off with a general question for you guys. Uh, I guess we can just go down the line and uh, talk a little bit about how you got into comics. Uh, you start with you. I'll go first. I, I, well, I did kind of roundabout. I, I started by going to film school, uh, getting a master's degree in screenwriting, Selling some screenplays, writing some bad movies, and some pretty good episodes of Law and Order SVU, and then um, uh -huh. uh, yeah, you didn't know that. No. That's you don't the on my website before you have me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even read comic books. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're always what about uh, any movies that we would know? Uh, you probably <laughs> Teenage Caveman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that okay. was on like USA Up all night. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. It's, it's usually on. Do you read Pete's yeah. bad pages? <laughs> yeah, we don't Wikipedia you. We watch USA Up All Night. Let's see how that relates. And if and it works out, it works out. It, it's usually on Cinemax at 3 in the morning. So, yeah, you know, yeah. That's, that I'm glad that it was on USA Up All Night. Yeah. Uh, and, then, the and then a movie called The Breed. Um, Ooh. Which, uh, see? Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 the other one was. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and where did I? Oh yeah, and then and then I happened to meet Jimmy Palmiotti, who I, I think you guys might know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, he in, introduced me to some folks at DC. I ended up writing, pitching the Deadshot miniseries, and uh -huh. didn't think it would go anywhere. But then I got to write it, and you know, from there I just kept hustling. You know. And, and now you're writing like 19 books. Yeah. You're quite a hustler. Well, you know, keep it <laughs> easy, but it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Preach it. Uh, Brandon, let's move over to you. How'd you get into comics? Uh, was it? It's 21. I'm at this Irish drunk at an Italian restaurant. It's like, I got this idea about this camera about superheroes. You want to draw? It's like, yeah, sir. It's going to kill me. And then, <laughs> then we did our mini comic hero camp. Through <laughs> Wait, this is a true story? Yes, yeah, it's a very good story. <laughs> <laughs> an Irishman at an Italian restaurant. Yes. 
And I... <laughs> no, we uh, did the mini comics here at uh, Hero Camp, threw it to Image, they liked it, they printed it up, and then I got more gigs up for that. Pretty much. Awesome. And Tony? I pretty much lied, cheated, and stole my way into comics. All right. To be honest. I mean, I'd, I'd written for about 15 years in the UK, and I was coming over to New York for some meetings with uh, a couple of agencies. And I decided I was going to get back into comics. I tried with about 20 and utterly failed, as everybody does in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, when you're an English writer, the first thing you want to do is work for 2000 AD. Right. right. Yeah. And you want to do a on a future shot. You guys have 2000 AD over here, yeah? Huh? Yeah. yeah. You write a thing on Future Shop, it's great, and it's like five pages, start, middle, end, uh, two twists, a twist, and everybody wants to write it, and you write the best thing ever, you send it in, and you can pretty much guarantee the editor will come back to you and go, this is shit. It's been done on this issue in number 152. By Alan Moore. By Alan Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you try, you give up, and you, you just sit in the corner cry for about 15 years, as I did. <laughs> and, uh, my, my then girlfriend um, invited, uh, actually, fun enough, five years ago this Thursday, um, uh, said, you know, we're going to go to New York, and I thought, well, I'm going to be in New York, I'm going to risk it. So I actually phoned, I, actually, I emailed uh, Joe Cazada at Marvel, which is really easy because it's like the initial and the surname at marvel.com. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, hello, I'm a British writer, I've been writing for 15 years, I'm going back into comics, so I'd like to come and chat to you about doing some comics, I have no wonderful things. Uh, I'm seeing DC Comics probably around 4 o'clock, and I'd like to come and see you at 1. So obviously they're like, oh, bloody hell, who's this guy? <laughs> Use the term British writer, that's well, this is it. Yeah, We all live in one big house. One <laughs> <of them>. <laughs> <laughs> and then basically, um, Cherry Zafakarile, who at the time was the, the person sent out to look after these mad people who emailed. Uh, so I said, yeah, okay, um, you know, send us some stuff. And I sent them some of the stuff I'd actually done. And they said, yeah, well, come, you know, come and see us about 1 o'clock. To which point I then phoned up DC and got hold of Mike Carlin and was like, Hi Mike, I'm Tony Lee, I'm a British writer. <laughs> I've seen Marvel at one point. And I got to see them and it was great because I, I went to Marvel and I spent an hour with uh, Teresa. And we, we, it, it was right before Epic. Uh, the really good thing that happened. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Um, <laughs> but then right before Epic came in and we did a few things, we worked a few things out, it was great. And then I went over to, Mar over to DC, bolstered up and it was great. And I spent an hour with Mike Carlin going, Dude, seriously, get out of writing. You really don't want to be a writer in comics at the moment. <laughs> so it's great, really. <laughs> great development strategy. Yeah. yeah. And what are, I guess we'll go in reverse order now. Uh, Tony, what are what are you working on right now? <clears throat> um, at the moment, um, I'm waiting for 2000 AD. Funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing a 15 part story called uh, called Stalin 666, um, which is kind of like a futuristic prisoner of war story. Uh, I'm doing uh, two stories for a new comic called DFC, one with Dan Baldwood, who I did Hope Falls with, uh, called The Prince of Baghdad, and one with Bob Guillory, uh, uh, Indie Darling, uh, which is called Spooky School for Girls. <laughs> um, and I'm doing a six-parter with uh, Pia Guerrero, which is Doctor Who the Forgotten, which is uh, coming out in August on IDW. And it, as I said earlier on, it, it might sound like I'm doing a lot of stuff at the moment, but this is what Chris Gage calls Wednesday. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, I'm actually got a boy. We'll finish Colbert. Just uh, take the end. You say finish Colbert. I was going to say, that yeah. sounded rather, is that like a threat? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Robbie is penciling uh, the Tech Jensen series, which is based yeah. on a character created by Stephen Colbert. Yeah. 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 Now I'm drawing the rest of all, all other only books right now. I got uh, eight minutes. <laughs> And a couple other projects we're going to work on. Do they know you're doing this? Oh, yeah. Of course they I've done this one for you. We've done this already. That's okay. Use this. It's nice. Uh, I'm doing a superhero book with uh, Jason Latour at Image called Almighty. Which uh, pretty much imagine Captain America feels Chuck D. <laughs> 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 